Hi everyone, welcome to Mash Math. Today we are going to study chapter 6 triangles, exercise 6.5, question 14. The perpendicular from A on side BC of a triangle ABC intersects BC at D such that DB equal to 3CD. Prove that 2AB square is equal to 2AC square plus BC square. So whatever is here in the question, the diagram is given to us already. The figure is there. So perpendicular from A. So A is here. So there is a perpendicular from A on side BC. So BC is here. So on side BC from A there is a perpendicular on the triangle ABC. Intersects BC at D. So it is intersecting BC at D. Such a way that DB becomes equal to 3 CD. DB becomes equal to 3 times CD. Now prove that 2AB square is equal to 2AC square plus BC square. So first let's write down what is given to us and what we have to prove. So what is given to us? Given to us is DB is equal to 3 times CD. So this is given to us. Then what we have to prove? So we have to prove that 2 times AB square is equal to 2 times AC square plus BC square. So this is what we have to prove. So now whenever you see square here, so AB square is here, AC square, then we know only when we use Pythagoras theorem we will get the square. So let's see now here. Uh, we have so for both let's find out so a b square so how we will get a b square a b is here so here 90 degree is there so it is a right angle triangle so right angle triangle according to pythagoras theorem what is that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so this is pythagoras theorem so we have hypotenuse so to get AB square, we will take this triangle, this triangle that is ADB, okay. So let's concentrate on this triangle. So here we will get AB square. So let's write down, use uh, Pythagoras theorem in this triangle. So in triangle that is ADB, triangle ADB by Pythagoras by Pythagoras theorem we will get a b square because 90 degree opposite to 90 degree becomes a hypotenuse so a b square is equal to basis b d square plus perpendicular is a d square okay so let's keep this as equation 1. So same way we got AB square. So same way let's get the AC square. So AC is here. So we will take this triangle. To get AC we will take this triangle. Okay. So now in this triangle. Now this is 90 degree means this also will be 90 degree. So, so if this is 90 degree opposite to that becomes a hypotenuse so we will take this triangle so in triangle ADC ADC by Pythagoras by Pythagoras theorem so opposite to 90 degree becomes a hypotenuse so AC square will be equal to basis CD CD square plus height is AD square. So consider this as equation 2. So now we got equation 1 and 2 where we have AB square, we have AC square. Now whether to add or subtract, what to be done? So to get AB square and AC square. So if we add, for example, I'll just show you here. So if this equation, if we are adding, a b square plus a c square equal to whatever may be the right side but then when we add like this then 
when you bring this ac square that side because in question it is ab square is equal to ac square so if you want to get this ac square that side then it will become ab square equal to this is in plus when it goes that side it will become minus so we don't want minus here this is in plus so what we will do if we subtract ab square minus ac square equal to so when we take this side then ab square equal to here it is minus when it goes that side it will become plus got it so here we have in plus so when you take it that side it will become plus so what we will do we will subtract so equation 1 and 2 if we subtract then we will get positive and we shift to the other side okay so we will subtract subtracting equation 1 and 2 so when we subtract then a b square minus a c square equal to so left side we have written or right side so right side is b d square plus a d square minus since we are putting minus sign the next part we will put in the bracket so next part is c d square plus a d square so when minus sign comes we put it in the bracket because sign will change so a b square minus a c square equal to b d square plus a d square now minus c d square now minus into plus will become minus a d square okay so got it now now you see here you have plus a d square here you have minus a d square so both gets cancelled so we will have a b square minus a c square is equal to b d square minus c d square so now this let's consider as equation 3 okay so now you see now we have a b square we have a c square but this side to the right side we have b d and c d but here nowhere bd and cd is there to the right side what is left is bc is left already we have ab square we got ac square now we have to bring it to bc square so what we will do here we don't want bd and cd we have to bring it to bc so to get bc what we will do here you just see what is given to us what is given to us is db is equal to three times cd so db db you say or a bd you say it's the same whether db or db you say or bd is the same here you see you call it db or you call it bd is the same okay so that means this is given to this value db is given to us three times cd so can we put down that value so a b square minus a c square equal to instead of bd or instead of bd or db we will put 3 times cd okay and square is there square then minus cd square okay so now you see a b square minus a c square is equal to this is square 3 square will be 9 and this will become cd square minus cd square so again a b square minus a c square equal to 9 times c d square here 1 times c d square so when you subtract you will get 8 times c d square now again we are not satisfied with the c d we want b c now c d is what actually c d is this but c d is part of b c so b c is the base here and c d is part of this b c so what we will do if we have to write here bc is what actually bc is okay bc is what actually bc is cd plus db okay now cd value is db value is given to us okay bc equal to cd plus db is already given to us the value is three times 
CD. So, 3 times CD. Then what we will get? CD plus 3 times CD. Total we will get 4 times CD. So, we will bring this 4 to this side. Then we will have BC upon 4 equal to CD. So, we got the CD. Instead of CD, we can put BC upon 4. You see here. So, instead of CD, we can write BC upon 4. Okay. So, you can write down here also. Now, okay. Now, BC is actually what? CD plus DB. And so, CD write down plus in the place of DB, we write 3 times CD because it is given to us. So, then BC equal to 4 times CD. And so, BC by 4 will be CD. Okay. So, put that value here. This you consider as equation 4. This you can consider as equation 5. Okay. Put the value of 5 into equation 4. Okay. Putting the value of CD in equation in equation 4. So equation 4 is what? AB square minus AC square equal to 8. Instead of CD, we will write BC upon 4 and square is there. Square, you have to wait, take care, okay? So now, AB square minus AC square equal to this you can write down 8 here and into this is BC square is there square is common so it will become BC square then 4 square will be 16 okay so let's write down this I'll write down here now AB square minus AC square equal to now you see 8 2 times 16 so we will have BC square by 2 okay so now here we don't want already now we got it BC square okay we got the BC square we got but then we don't want 2 2 we have to bring it to this side. So, what we will do, bring this two to this side. It is in division. When it comes here, it goes to multiplication. So, inside the bracket, you have to write because this is common for this, for the left side. So, AC square equal to BC square. So, now 2 you multiply, you will get 2 times AB square minus 2 times AC square equal to bc square so now we don't want ac square in the left side i told you already when i explained to you we want ac square to the right side so 2 ab square equal to minus 2 ac goes to the right side becomes plus ac square and this remains plus only bc square this comes here means it will go plus okay so Hence, prove. This is what we have to prove. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you and God.